Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can get a look like this in Microsoft Excel where the numbers on the y-axis of the chart are actually two different colors. I'm going to a duplicate of this particular spreadsheet that I have here and let's go and grab this data and make our chart. I'm going to insert, I'm just going to add a very simple chart. I'd like my chart title to be what's in this cell here, so I'm just going to type equals and point to that particular cell. Let's just enlarge the chart a little bit. I'm going to change the format here just by making the text a little bit larger and I'll go for bold type as well. But I do want to make anything that is 400,000 or higher a different color. And so there are some limits in Microsoft Excel as to how you do this. And the easiest way to do this is actually to say, okay, well, I'm going to apply the different color to all of the numbers. And then I'm going to set everything that's lower than that figure into black because we get more color options here and black is just easier to specify. So I'm going to select on the vertical axis here and I'm going to set up my color. So I'm going here to the font colors and I'm going to apply my sort of red color. So all of the vertical axis text is now this red color. What we're going to do is specify that anything that is less than 400,000 is going to be black. That's going to be the easier way of doing it. To do this, we'll right click and choose Format Axis. And we're going to this option here, which is Axis Options. Now I'm just going to close most of these up because the one we want is Number. And what we're going to do is type in here our own format code, but we are going to make note of how the numbers are formatted right now because that's going to make life a little bit easier. And the bit that we're interested in is this hash symbol, a comma, two hash symbols and a zero. And that's controlling how these numbers look. So in here, I'm going to click in front of the first entry and I'm going to wipe out everything in front of just those hash symbols. I'm going to add a square bracket and I'm going to type black because this is the color I want to use for everything that is less than 400,000. So black is going inside square brackets and then another set of square brackets and I'm going to type less than 400,000. So I'm just typing 400,000 without commas and then I'm going to do another close bracket. And then the number format is going to be this format that we have here. Then I'm going to wipe out everything up until the semicolon and then I'm going to wipe out everything except the number format. So essentially what we're going to have here for our entry is square brackets black, square brackets less than 400,000 and then the number format hash comma hash hash zero, a semicolon and then hash comma hash hash zero. So what that's saying to Microsoft Excel is that Anything that's 400,000 or less is going to be colored black and it's going to be in this format, the same format as we've been using. But anything that is 400,000 or more is just going to be whatever that is formatted as right now, which is of course this red color. I'll click add. And here we have the formatting exactly as we asked for it. It's just a case of thinking in sort of reverse terms. If you want to use a fancy format for your numbers, make sure that you apply that to the numbers themselves to start off with and then choose a planar color for the other numbers. Now, when it comes to naming colors, there are eight colors that you can name in Microsoft Excel just by using their words. These are they. It's black, white, red, green, blue, yellow, magenta and cyan and they're all pretty revolting. They're pretty sort of tacky colors. There are also a number of colors that can be referred to by their color number. For example, black is also color one, white is color two and there are 56 index colors that you can use and you'll see them on the screen now. But I think that this is a better way of doing things because the colors that we're using here are actually associated with the theme that is in use. So if the theme changes, then the colors in use here are also going to change. 
effect. Let me just move my chart out of the way for a minute so that we can have a look at this color changing effect. I'll go across here to the page layout tab and let's just hold our mouse pointer over the themes and as you can see the text color is changing because we were able to use a theme color and so that's going to give you a little bit more flexibility in the colors that you use for highlighting data in vertical axes in Microsoft Excel. If you like carefully researched content like this clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.